Okay, today's fun and excitement will include lunging. Come on in here. The concept of lunging is basically this. The center of the horse is going to be right here at the girth area. All right, this is the girth area. This is also what we call the drive line. If your body is positioned behind the drive line, your horse will want to go forward. Although right there, he just looked at me. <laughs> but if you get in front of it, that's going to stop the horse. But mainly we want the horse to go forward. So our body is going to have to be positioned so we can push that horse forward. Now I'm using a lunge whip, which is basically going to act as an extension of my hand to help me encourage him going forward. Now if you'll just go ahead and stand right over here, let's go ahead and give it a start. <clears throat> So Leo has not had to lunge before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start him walking forward. I'm going to keep my body over here. And I'm going to tap him until he takes a step forward. There we go. So now he's stepping forward. Come on. Good boy. So now he's stepping forward in a circle. Now I'm going to... The reason I have the whip is just in case he wants to give me a little kick. I'm out of his line. See? Come on, boy. Walk forward. There you go. See, we got him lunging. <laughs> That's not a whole lot, but it's better than it was before. Come on. Come on, Leo. Remember, I'm keeping my belly button pointed to his back end. Come on, Leo. Come on. He's now going forward. Now let's see if I can get him. Do a little faster. Come on. Come on, Leo. Come on. Encouragement. I'm just sitting here. He doesn't want to go. He's but at least we have him walking around in a circle. So that's good. He's feeling a little lazy. All right. Whoa. Take a bow. That brings his head towards you. Point the opposite direction. This is the fun part. You gotta get his head to go in the opposite direction. Get back over here on his hips. And push him forward. Now, without him turning his head into me. This is the hard part. There we go. We got it started! <laughs> now, I'm going to lunge you on him a little bit later. And that's going to help. Would you like to try now? <laughs> yes? Okay. So, if you want to, you can grab everything all together like that. And what you want to do... Have you ever used a lunge whip before? Okay, so the action is simple. Hold it around the base, and you can make circles just by going like this. You can snap it like that, or you know you can move it around, do that sort of thing. But mainly, it moves. <laughs> All right. This is going to be your hand, your thin hand. Okay, and you have to manage your slack. So you want to let everything flow in and out over your thumb and forefinger. That way you can go okay. So that's your send hand over here. So where is your body position right now? You want to try to get him to go forward. So it might be easier if you uh, make your line a little shorter. It might be easier, but you need to get back towards his back end. Okay, put your chin in the direction you want him to go. Point your chin in the direction you want him to go. Stand back behind the drive line and ask him to go forward. Send hand up. Send hand up. Give him a little tap. <laughs> He's a little reluctant. Come on. Come on. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. He's going forward. Yay. Keep him going. Keep him going. Good. There you go. Good. That's the start of the lunge. Yay. Come on. Try to keep back behind him. Make him go forward. There you go. Good. Keep him going forward. He, this is a whole new concept for him. But he's going to respect you because of this. Now watch your slack. Okay. So you've got a bunch of stuff here. It's easiest if you just make a, make a circle. 
Go like that, and that way it'll go in and out. Whatever you do, do not wrap that around your arm. But if you need to hold your slack, do it that way. All right, let's walk around to the other side of the horse. Come on over. There you go. Switch your hands. Let's see if we can just get him going. <laughs> All right, so your body is, come on over. So you're starting from scratch. He's a little lazy today. <laughs> there you go. Now you're gonna walk to the back end of him. Head up. Point your chin the direction you want him to go. <laughs> Start giving him some encouragement. Come on. There you go. Walk towards his back. Walk towards his back. There you go. Hand up. Point the direction you, you're looking at his feet. If you look at his feet, there you go. Don't look at his feet. There you go. Point your chin. Ah, very good. Get him out from you. Wiggle. There you go. Wiggle. Back him up. <laughs> it's a start. It's really a good start. Okay. So that's where we're starting at. just a little bit more. Come on. Like I said, don't fight him. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Be a little bit more forceful. He's at least moving forward. He is trying very, very hard to do. But you see how I'm way back here? I'm driving him forward. That's kind of the whole concept of that. Ready to play with some, art, some more stuff? And, or do you want to keep trying to get him to lunge a little bit better? That's pretty good. We're going to come back to it. I think so. We'll move on from that. All right, let's see the flex. Oh, look at that. Compared to the last time, he's stopping. He's not doing... He's not walking around. Oh, look at that. That's much better. Very good. And flex and release. That's awesome. All right. Have you had any luck getting his front end to move? No. <laughs> I tried it, but we can do the back swing and flex it. Okay. So let's see where we're at with that. I'm going to add a little motivation. Just so I can tap, tap, tap if I need it. All right, so I'll start. Come on over here on this side. Okay, so the concept of moving the front end is basically you're going to keep your hand up over here so you can control him going front or back. And then right here on the shoulder, where we would have this pressure point right here, we're just going to kind of touch it right there. That's the concept. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't necessarily work. We want to cross over, so I'm going to tap just a little bit. Tap his nose. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, boy. Tap, 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 tap. Just cross him behind. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, he wants to cross behind? Come on. Close. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Did you see it? Yes. Okay. We're just going to get one step at this point. <laughs> just one step. All right. So see if you can get one step. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Now, do you want to use tappy stick or do you want to just go ahead and use? Okay, try your. The big thing is keep him from walking forward. There you go. Bump, 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 bump. Pressure, pressure. Good. Release. Did you see it? You got a little, yay! <laughs> All right, let's try to get one more step. One more step, because we do it one step at a time. Well, that was, you want it in front, not behind. Don't reward that yet. He's good at stepping behind. You want this one to go, there! See how much easier it is once you get one step? Then you come to the other. So come on back over here. All right, you got four steps on one side. Now let's do the other. <laughs> yes, we're looking at you. Ready? Put your hand up. Kind of use the force a little bit with your hand if you need to. You know, you're, you're touching him. 
You don't have to. Just touch the air around him. That'll kind of encourage him to move without actually touching him. Now, he's being real stiff, so it's time to touch him now. Come on. Increase your pressure just a little bit. There we go. We got him to move. Got him to move. Arm forward. Arm up. Good. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Come on. He'll figure this out eventually. Oh, that's so close. So close. So close. Come on. One step. Come on, buddy. Use the force with your hand. Come on. Use the air pressure. Air pressure with your right hand. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. One step, please. One step. Come on. Just take a step. Just take a step. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, just go over. Yay! <laughs> All right, come on, bring it back over here. <laughs> that was a little bit more difficult. All right, let's try it again. Okay. This way. Same way, and what side were you on before? Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get four steps on that side. Now that he's got the concept. So you're going to use your right hand. Your hand this closer, kind of. Help him along on that. There you go. Get a little more control. Get it a little shorter. Come on. There you go. Add pressure. Add pressure. Watch your hands. Come on. Use, use your right hand. Use it as a tool. Move it. Up and down. Up and down. There you go. There you go. Come on. Take a step. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Come on. A little bit more. Tap, 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 tap. Come on. Come on. Use. Yay! <laughs> He's going to realize we're not trying to hurt him, but he's going to have to move. And you just start out with light pressure and get some more. Go back over. Let's get one more step. He'll get the concept. Okay, you need to shorten up right here. Shorten up. There you go. He's already getting the concept that he needs to move now. Toes need to go forward. Toes need to go forward. Okay, ready? And move. Come on. Oh, he got the concept much better that time. Add pressure. Use your hand. Come on. Use your hand. Use your tools. There you go, he's getting close, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, pressure, pressure, pressure. Come on, pressure, pressure, pressure. Pressure, pressure, come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> he's getting the concept. He's totally getting the concept. But that's a whole lot better than you got the last time. <laughs> now be careful. When he does stuff like that, he's trying to get your attention. But I'd like you to make sure that he stays out of your space. So back him up. Face him, back him up. Now don't get directly in front of him. When you're directly in front of him, if he wants to put that head, he'll send you flying. <laughs> so get to the side. Stay to the side. And use oh, where you tell him to go. Yeah, tell him, tell him to point your toes the direction you want him to go. So once you point your toes, come on. Walk, walk. Make him go back. Add pressure. Add pressure. Ask, suggest, demand. You've been asking. Come on. Use your other hand. Come on. Come on. It's okay. There we go. Much better. Boy, he really just didn't want to do anything. I'm not dry, did he? All right. I know you can do the back end, so why don't you go ahead and show me how good you are. Yona, out of the arena. Out. Yona, out. Very good. Tip his head towards you. There you go. Release. Keep your chin up. Good. Let's come on over here to the other side. Keep your toes pointed in. Very good. Now release. Give him a touch. Very good. All right. And groundwork done. So moving the front end was a little bit more difficult on the ground. So that means you might have some hard, a hard time moving the front end with being in the saddle. So if you want him to go right, you are going to flex his head slightly to the right. This outside hand is actually gonna keep him from walking forward. So if he tries to walk forward, you're going to pull him. You're going to, the, this is the problem that you have right here with the saddle and you gotta be kinda careful. And that's why uh, getting your saddle nice and supple is gonna allow you to move that up here so you can really hit button number one, which is in front of the girth, a little more effectively. Okay, now he's listening to you. So 
button number one. Oh, good. That's much better. Now pull back. See if we can get that crossover step. Crossover step. There we go. That was a little bit better. She's starting to turn. But what you want him to do is you want him to isolate. So I'll help you. Remember, outside rain is going to be the key. You're going to bump it. Don't go over across it. Don't let him walk forward. Button number one. Bump. There we go. Don't let him walk forward. Left hand. He's walking forward. He's just walking in a circle. This is your outside hand. Bump it. Come, pull it back. Pull it back. There! There! Good! That was better. Now, look at where your hand is. That hand's way back here. You need to keep your hand up here. That's what I mean by slide that hand in there. So, go to the right again. You've got to get used to pulling that rein. Pull it back. No, no, no. Don't cross over. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. There you go. Pull back. Back. Okay. <laughs> All right. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Let's walk into it, okay? We're going to walk a circle into it. So we're going to go to the right. Remember, button number one is up here. You've got to use this outside left ring. This is the only way you're going to... Don't wrap it around your hand. Okay. you got to hold the reins right. You're not holding the reins right. Ask. Yeah, ask, suggest, demand. Put your whole hand around it, okay? Now, when you want to, that's called a half halt, okay? So you're going to bump and half halt, but you've got to guide his head that way, all right? Put your whole hand on that right. There you go. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I know. There! There! <laughs> it feels awkward, I know. But, okay. Remember, you're going to open the door this way. Getting him to move that front end is going to be difficult, okay? I'm going to help you through it. All right, so, keep going. We're going to get a little bit. But, oh, we got it a little bit right there. There you go. You got crap. That's your whole ring. There's your only go. There you go. There you go. There. There. Now, by accident, you're actually pressing his back end. That's why opening the door until you get your saddle a little bit softer, it's going to be easier for you. But remember to open the door. All right, let's try it again. That's good. Close. Close. Set straight. Use that ring. You're not using the outside ring. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Ready? Ready? There you go. I'll help. There we go. Get one step. One step. One step. Come on. There, we're getting close, we're getting close. Don't pull him back. You have to pull and release. He's going backwards. Come on. Now, your, okay, your leg is moving all over here. Pressure should be just right here. Okay? Pressure should be right there. We're going to try that. So, it's okay. He's learning a whole new thing. Nobody's ever really asked him to do this before. This is the start to a spin. So you've got to get his front end moving. There we go. So you're going to come towards me. Open the door. This side. Remember? There you go. And do your best. Pop that shoulder. Pull back on the right, right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Keep him from walking. Forward. There! There! 
here. Pat, pet. Good <laughs> Did you boy. feel it? <laughs> Good oh. job. Pet him, pet him, pet him. Oh, did you feel it? That was that front end moving independently from the back end. Because he likes to just go in circles. So that's a big thing right there. All right. One more step. To the left. Now, you did really good. Engage the outside race. Pull that outside race. Outside race. Outside race. Come on. You gotta open the door. There you go. Outside race. You're not engaging the outside rein. Otherwise, you wouldn't be walking forward. There you go. Outside rein. Outside rein. Pull it back. You're, you're pushing inadvertently. You're pushing his back end with your foot. So you got to kind of keep on him. Bump, bump, bump. You, you're not using the outside rein. Use the outside rein. Engage the outside rein. Engage it. Engage it. Bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Right rein. Right rein. Right rein. Get close. Moving that back end is a little or a lot easier than moving the front end, isn't it? Yes. But the front end will come along. You just have to remember to use that outside ring. Ready to chart our barrel pattern? Which barrel are you going to go to first? Okay, ready? And go! There you go. Look at your barrel. Start to turn. Look at your next barrel. There you go. Good. Start to turn. There you go. Good. Use your leg. Use your leg to turn. Use your leg. And come straight here. Straight, straight, straight. Good. Stop. And back, please. Try to get him to back straight. Pull and release. Pull and release. There you go. Good job. So thank you very much for joining our lesson today. Remember, riding horses and training horses is an experience. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort and it's not as easy as everybody thinks. If you'd like to see more riding lesson students and more riding lessons, please click on the playlist over here. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.